Hey guys, so today I'm up in the hunting room and I'm getting my closet cleaned out. I'm getting all my deer season clothes put up so I can get my turkey season clothes situated um, and get everything for my end later on this morning. But uh, I wanted to take this opportunity to talk about scent lock. So all of my hunting videos, I'm wearing scent lock. My Facebook is covered up with promoting scent lock. I'm a scent lock ambassador. I love scent lock. I'm obsessed with the brand. I would not preach it if I didn't believe that it worked. Uh, they've got the carbon alloy technology. They put silver lining in a lot of their things. I've seen this work. I do not use scent sprays whenever I go hunting. Um, I do not use hunting soaps. Uh, so I use scent lock and I've watched deer go directly downwind, smell something and just kind of mosey on off. So um, I wouldn't preach it if it didn't work. But um, I realized coming up here and trying to organize all of my hunting things that I might have a problem because I have a lot. So I'm just going to kind of talk about um, all of the different items of clothes. I'm not going to go into detail about them, but I will you know, give a few top points on them and just from my experiences with them wearing them. So um, I'm going to try to go by season. I think I've got it organized that way. So we'll start with early season. Um, I have the featherweight quarter zip, the shirt right here. Um, I love the mossy oak pattern. I'm pretty sure every pattern that I have is mossy oak, but this is a mossy oak Terra Outland. Um, this is a early season shirt, very lightweight, moisture wickening. Of course, it's got the carbon alloy technology, the quarter zip on the front. Um, I have two of these actually because I pretty much wear them every single time I go hunting. Um, I put these on over my base layer and uh, the base layer that I use is also scent lock. Um, it's the ladies, I'm not 100% sure on the name, but it's the ladies base layer that Scentlock offers. And so I ha always have that on, um, unless it's super hot here in Alabama. And then I have this featherweight quarter zip shirt on. So that's first. Next is the Savannah Arrow pants. And these are early season as well. They're super well made. You've got the adjustables on the sides where you can get it situated. Um, really great button. The material is amazing. Um, I haven't had any issues out of these pants. I actually wore these turkey hunting a lot last year. Uh, they're great for going through briars, no rips, nothing. So these are good early season pants. They've got the zipper pockets right here. Um, every pocket zips. So that's another convenience, especially for turkey season if you're going to wear scent lock turkey hunting. Um, next, I have the Silent Shell. And sorry guys, some of these I had to write down because I have so much, it's really difficult to keep up with the names. But these are the Silent Show pants. And I will have to say, this is my favorite pair of early season pants. I love these. Um, if you get a pair, you'll know. They're super, super soft on the outside. They're so comfortable to wear. They zip right here on the edge or on the, um, the bottom of the leg to make it easy to get out of. And um, I really do love these pants. Instead of having the uh, adjustable buckles on the side, these actually have elastic, so they stretch. And they do have a little bit of stretch all the way through the pants. And again, everything with Scentlock has carbon alloy technology. Um, I also got the Silent Shell jacket to go with the pants. Now, these are early season, but one thing I will say is Alabama early season, it's usually, shoot, it could be 80 degrees one day. Um, this is going to be too hot. So that's why I have the featherweight shirt and I can wear that with just the pair of light pants, either that or my Savannah Aero pants. Um, and usually I'm okay, still pretty warm, but you don't want to wear this jacket in the Alabama early season heat during bow season. But um, mid season, because our mid season is still kind of warm, this is perfect because it's great for first thing in the morning. It's just a light jacket to kind of keep you warm until the sun comes up and then you can take it off clearly. All right, so get those moved over. That is all of my early season stuff, I'm pretty sure. Um, I do also have Scentlock Gator and Scentlock Hat that came together. So we'll move on to mid-season now. Um, okay, so mid-season, I've got, this is the Bowhunter Elite Reactor Jacket. I had to look at the sleeves, sorry y'all. Um, so this one is actually super warm. This is usually my go-to jacket. Um, I guess probably right after fall, maybe 
into November, December, before it gets really cold, this is my go-to. I have this on all the time. So I actually ended up with two of these <laughs> because my husband got one too and he didn't really like his. So, um, great thing about being the same size as him is I can take all of his clothes that he doesn't want. <laughs> So, um, really like this jacket, super warm. Again, here we go with the carbon alloy technology. They all have carbon alloy. But the best thing about these is they're bow, they're made for bow hunters. So the sleeves are super warm up here, super thick. And then as it gets out to the end, it thins out. That gives you a lot of flexibility with your arms, guys, for whenever you're bow hunting. So really like this jacket. Again, this is the reactor jacket, the bow hunter elite reactor jacket. And here's the second one. <laughs> okay, next on the list for mid-season is the forefront. So, this is one of the very few things that Scentlock makes for women. Um, so, Scentlock, if you're listening, please make more women things. But um, the men's things fit just fine for any woman that might be watching this. Um, just know your size. And they're all really comfortable. It really doesn't matter. Most of my scent like clothes are men's because there's just not a lot of options for women. But this was the first item that I ever bought from Scent Lock. So it's really, really special to me. But this is the forefront. And uh, it's got really great pockets, super warm. Um, I actually bought this and ended up wearing it early season. That's a, that's a mistake. It's just too hot. But mid-season, it is amazing. It's wonderful. The jacket's comfortable. It's kind of like fleece. Um, and then the sleeves, if you can see, are made like this, which is really nice. So that, and then I have the forefront pants that go with it. Now, one thing that I will say, I run all of my clothes in a scent closet. So they're getting ozoned and I pretty much ozone them every time I get done hunting in them because here in Alabama it is hot. And so you want to go ahead and get any kind of smells that might be in there out. I will say that the elastic on these uh, did not hold up very well to the ozone. Um, I probably ozone things too much maybe, but the elastic on all of my other clothes is held up just fine. This right here though, the elastic didn't hold up. So they stretched out pretty good. Um, I can still wear them with a belt, but it's not my go-to pants, but these are my first pants. <laughs> so um, I do love them very much. And they also have the zipper right here. And this one actually comes up pretty far. So it's really easy to get these off of, or out from around your boots. Okay, so I think that does it for mid-season. And you guys bear with me because I don't have everything on the table right here. Um, some stuff is still back here at the closet uh, where I was putting it up. But these are the Divergent Pants, and I'm going to absolutely rave because um, in Alabama, we get cold, and when we get cold, we get really, really cold, and it's a wet cold, so it's super miserable. Um, all the scent lock gear that I had before this pair of pants, and I have one more pair of pants um, that I'm going to rave about too, I always got cold in the stand, no matter how many layers I had under them, and I have the uh, one, one set of one set of women's late season that I had to get super big because I had to just bulk and bulk underneath it. Um, this took away the bulk. So, like I said, these are the Divi Divergent Pants and they are wool. I'll show you that. They're super, super warm. Um, they seem thick whenever you're holding them, but I can promise you they're not bulky. They're really, really not. And we had some cold days. I would say it probably got down, I don't know, wind chill in the single digits a couple of times. I felt nothing. Nothing at all in these pants. Uh, they did come with suspenders attached. So you can take the suspenders off, but you still get these cute little buckles on here. Um, I saddle hunt, and I've never had any issues with these buckles at all. They don't bother me. I've just left them on there. Um, I don't even really notice that they're there, to be honest. So um, really great. This is wool on the outside, and then on the inside, it's micro fleece. So, like I said, these probably my favorite pair of pants. They also have the zipper that comes way up on the side, so you can get them over your boots. Um, yeah, these are definitely probably my favorite pants. I wore these so much this year. Uh, so, next, this was my first late season outfit that I bought. 
Um, when we were planning on hunting in Ohio in December, it was supposed to be really, really cold. Obviously, it's Ohio in December. Um, shout out to Ohio Big Butt Believers, because that's where we were hunting at. And uh, I bought this. So, this is the women's cold-blooded uh, parka. So, you can see. This layer right here is actually removable. Sorry, guys. You can remove this layer. It has a zipper right here. If you don't want all of that extra warmth. But all the insulation is, is in this layer. So for Ohio in December, I needed to keep it. Um, it's got the hood that comes up. You can adjust the hood on the back to make it tighter. It's super thick and very bulky. So I would say for rifle hunting, this is great. If you're going to be sitting there for a really, really, really long time and you have a rifle, perfect. Um, I wore this bow hunting last year in Alabama just to see. It's way too bulky and it's kind of loud. Um, but if you live anywhere where it snows a lot and you're a lady, because this is lady skull blooded, you need to get this because it is really, really warm. And again, carbon alloy technology and everything. And then the sleeves also have a zipper. So really great. Um, another thing that I want to mention about Scentlock is they are like really great about putting pockets everywhere. I love having pockets. I usually have something in every single pocket. So the more pockets that they have on something, the more stuff I can carry in my pockets. <laughs> All right, so these are the cold-blooded pants. And I'll just open these up so you can kind of see and step back. So you can kind of see how bulky these are. The elastic has held up really well to the, um, to the ozone. But I do still have to wear a belt with these because, like I said, I bought these really big so that I could bulk up underneath them. Um, but they're, they're super warm. You just have to put on a lot of layers underneath it. And the best thing, I think, is that these, this is waterproof, um, which is another reason why I bought it because it was supposed to be snowing in Ohio. So it's extremely waterproof. I didn't get wet. Nothing underneath this got wet. I mean, it, it held off the snow and the sleet and the rain really, really well. Uh, okay. Next thing. Guys, this is a lot. Um, okay, this is my Bowhunter Elite uh, heated vest. So, me and my husband both got one of these. And um, the button for it is right over here. So, you're supposed to use a little button. It's got three different levels. It has high, medium, and low. Um, I will say this gets used a whole lot because I get cold really easy. Um, and with the incredible pants that I have, I don't really have to worry about my legs getting cold ever, but, um, my torso usually does and my arms and my, my hands, obviously. Uh, but this helps with the torso a lot. It's got a lot of heat in the back, a lot of heat in the front. Uh, and then it has this charger right here that you can unplug boop, and then you just plug it up. You can use a C charger to charge it. Um, it has a regular little USB port. And you just charge this bad boy up until all the bars are lit up and uh, you just plug it in and you're good to go. So watch me be handicapped and not be able to get it plugged back in. Got it. So I usually starting, I would say in December, I usually don't go without this unless we just have a warm day. Um, even if I don't turn it on, this little vest right here provides so much warmth just on the core areas, on um, your front and the back um, of your torso. So I definitely recommend this vest, like 100%. I guess I, I could say that out of everything that I own, this probably gets worn the most. All right, next we have, and this is probably, this is a very close tie with my Divergent Pants. Uh, this is the Saddle Hunter series. This is my Saddle Hunter jacket, and I have Saddle Hunter pants. Uh, the Saddle Hunter pants come with built-in knee pads. A lot of people didn't like the knee pads. I love them. Um, I'm definitely one of those that puts my knees into the tree a lot. I don't like to stand there all day, especially if we're going to be sitting there for like 10 hours. Um, so those knee pads actually really do help. And when you're walking, you don't notice them. Uh, I think that they have them where you can take the knee pads out if you don't like them. But uh, the front part actually has like a, a pretty hard piece of material that kind of protects your knee anyway. But this is late season as well. I tried wearing this when it was a little bit warmer. No bueno. You have to take it off. 
Um, so it's super, super warm. Again, pockets everywhere, guys. I mean, usually my rangefinder goes right here. Um, so it's like right there for me to grab. Uh, I've got my jacket pocket so I can put my hot hands in there. This is really, really good stuff. Um, I think, like I said, the Divergent pants are definitely my favorite. I guess this Bow Hunter Elite, or the Bow Hunter, I'm sorry, the Saddle Hunter jacket and pants. Yeah. Saddle Hunter jacket and pants is my second favorite or really close tie with the Divergent pants. And then these are the pants right here. So you can see not a lot of bulk in these at all. This is the knee material right here. And then there's a knee pad in there. Let's see if I can unzip this and I can show you maybe where the pad is. So you can see the knee pads in here. And they say it's removable, but I haven't removed it because I don't want to. I love having it. Super warm. Um, I haven't had any issues out of these pants at all. Or the top. Um, I've worn it in my saddle. Like I said, I saddle hunt. We hunt on public land, so I'm always in a saddle. I have to be mobile. I have to be not bulky. I mean, I've climbed bulky before, and it's very uncomfortable. It's just weird. So, um, all of this stuff that I have, <laughs> I love. I love this brand. I love everything that they stand for. Uh, I love their products. I think that, you know, I think they're the best. I mean, that's just me. But uh, that is pretty much, yeah. I think that's everything. Um, I do have a Simplot gear bag that I take everything with me in that's got the uh, the portable the portable ozone unit. Um, I love that bag, it's huge. Um, it collapses down super flat so it's easy to store. And uh, then I've got this OZ closet right here um, that I love very much. I have another brand of closet and the zippers suck. So. There's that. These zippers right here are incredible. I mean, look at that. Look at that. I don't even have to use two hands. So, um, great products. I'm, I'm just obsessed with the brand. And I just wanted to show y'all everything I have because I have a lot. So, this is a 17-minute video. And you've watched all of this. Then maybe by now you're convinced to go and get you some scent lock. But um, thank you for watching. Uh, this is, like I said, everything is in my closet. Now I'm going to finish folding it all back up now that I've taken it all back out and uh, get my turkey season stuff ready. My finisher series, which is also Nexus. So, um, blocker outdoors, scent lock, all the same. For hunting though, scent lock has my heart. So, uh, thank you guys for watching again and, uh, maybe you learned something. Maybe it helped you. Maybe you want to go give some of this stuff a try. Uh, you won't be disappointed if you do. It's worth the money. It's a little more expensive than some of the other camo brands. But I've seen it work. Um, I will live by that until the day that I die. So, Scent Lock is the best. Thanks, guys. Bye.